Good morning, my name is Sarah Bentley. Thanks for joining me today. If you've been with us during our weekend services, you know that we have been working our way through the book of Ephesians. And recently we found ourselves in Ephesians chapter four and Isaac Serrano gave a wonderful message on Ephesians four. If you missed it, you can go back and listen to it on our website. But something he talked about in that message was this idea of unity. And he said this about unity. Unity is God bringing together equal opposites to create a whole. In other words, unity is not the same as uniformity. In fact, he used the analogy of a puzzle where you have pieces that are differently shaped and sized and God is putting those puzzle pieces together to create this beautiful overall picture. And we were reminded that unity is not only God's desire, but unity should be our desire. And Ephesians chapter 4, verse 15 tells us our part in creating unity. It urges us to speak the truth in love to one another. Now that may sound simple, but in the current cultural milieu in which we find ourselves, that can be very difficult because that is not how the world operates. In fact, the world values ideas, our own opinion, over loving others. Just takes a few minutes on social media to see how true that is. But when we speak the truth without love, it becomes condescending and critical and commanding, condemning. In fact, truth spoken without love, in a sense, ceases to be truth because it's marred and twisted by our own human agenda. On the other hand, truth spoken in love or with love is compassionate, empathic, honest, humbling, or humble, and it honors God and it honors others in the process. It helps me to think of it in this way. Speaking the truth in love means bringing God's truth into the context of relationship. Paul David Tripp puts it this way, our call is to do theology in loving community with other people. Sometimes I think we get tricked into thinking that studying about God is an end in itself. But studying about God is really a means to an end. And that end is that we would be people who are constantly being transformed to look more like Jesus. Jesus really is the one who is the ultimate definition of both love and truth. So today, my challenge is this, that we will be people who are learning and asking the Holy Spirit to help us hold both love and truth in tension together that we would ask the Holy Spirit to help us act in ways that are compassionate, empathic, honest, humble, and honoring of God and others. Ultimately, this, this work of unity is God's work, but we also have a role to play, and my prayer is that unity will become more and more our desire as well. And so let's look for ways that God is giving us opportunities to speak the truth in love to those around us today. Thanks so much for joining me.